Hello, Scorpio. How are you guys doing today? All right, so let's see what the angels got for you. In your daily message. Yes. Scorpios. Okay. Hmm. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So, Scorpio, um, you are torn. Both of you are, actually. Wow. Oh, my goodness. It's like you're growing apart. Like you're not seeing eye to eye no more. It's not the same. Okay. With this two of swords here. A decision needs to be made here. You're, no, you're not sure what to do at this point. It's like you're waiting for that person to make a move and make it right. And this person is waiting for you to make a move and make it right. I'm seeing some messages coming to you, Scorpio, about this situation very, very soon. We have the Nine of Swords. In, well, actually, no, the King of Swords. We also have the Seven of Cups, the Temperance, and the Wheel of Fortune, okay? I feel like healing is a must here. Mental health is a must here. So you're choosing yourself. I'm very proud of you. I'm very happy to hear that. You're doing the healing process and the temperance being here, being very patient with yourself, you know, knowing and acknowledging that the time must be right for you um, to be in love with anyone, not just this person that's coming up in your reading for those of you who are separated from someone or having difficulties because I'm seeing love here, okay? I'm seeing the lovers. I'm seeing Gemini energy. Look at this beautiful card, okay? Gemini energy coming up, y'all. Um, There's going to be a call or a text from this person very quickly, okay? Very quickly. You know, the love offer, um, I don't know if you're going to take it because, you know, of course you blocked this person for a reason with this king of swords. For some of you, have been in contact for this person for a while, so you know you're familiar with them. You're familiar with the bull crap that they pull, you know. I'm seeing the three of swords coming up, y'all. Hmm. Wow, the judgment also. So, karmic energy is spot on in here. Spot on in here. Let's just talk about it. <laughs> We have the Seven of Cups. This person is definitely cheating on you in reverse here. Very overwhelmed. This is why you, you probably blocked this person for some of you and decided to stop talking to them for some reason. End this relationship. Choose yourself. The cycle is real. It's not complete as yet, you guys. There is something that you guys need to learn from each other. So unfortunately, the universe has a message for you that needs to be learned. Either from this person or the next that's coming into your life. There's a lesson here and it hasn't been learned yet, okay? I'm seeing the Nine of Cups. This person really tried to promise you the world because they really feel like you are the one for them. They feel like, you know, the, the universe has blessed them with your presence. And as cheesy as that sounds, that's how they're feeling with this Nine of Cups here. They're really like torn because they really feel like you are everything that they ever wished and asked for. And here you both are sleeping on a different side of the bed, not even looking at each other or just not even looking at each other, talking to each other at all it's just a distance but somebody is going to feel like this pull or this pressure um to need to call to need to talk to need to break the ice i just feel like this person misses you misses you know being with you physically of course I feel like single life is looking good on you. You're glowing. You feel really content about this. So I don't know if you're going to take this person back. Okay. I'm definitely seeing the nine of pentacles um, in reverse. It's funny because you you are like really valuing this, um, this ten of pentacles here. Like you really value this family, the, the things that you guys built and been through together. But I also feel like you need to be very careful with some money issues that may occur. 
okay i'm seeing some kind of loss here all right i'm seeing some kind of loss with your relationship because of the three of swords this third party situation is coming in somebody needs to make a decision here it's taking too long with the two of swords to make peace with this situation okay it's all about peace and clarity and understanding and the truth and this person is taking too long to do that this three of swords you're really like really dealing with it you know you're dealing with this three of swords it's not like you're, you're like oh psh, they don't mean nothing no for some reason you think that this person messes up your relationship but the truth is you need to talk to your person this person the third party doesn't owe you nothing nothing period we have the seven of wands okay so i'm definitely seeing some kind of conflicts even fight with this third party situation all right you're trying to you know find out what's going on here your person is very guarded you know lying trying to control everybody um trying to control the third party trying to control you the angels don't sleep judgment has been judged and this is set in stone i love this card i love the cross the protection here i love the angels i love the sun i love the two people standing naked it tells everything judgment okay so for those of you who are married to this person adultery is no game okay cross watchers all right cross watchers all right so we have the three of wands here it's a little bit too late that's what i'm hearing a little bit too late Ooh. OMG, <laughs> you are very um, confused, you know, in cancer. You have a lot of um, emotions that you were just going back and forth with, trying to find out what you need to do in life. You don't know what to do when it comes to this person. You need to focus on your mental health, okay? This person is driving you crazy. There's going to be truth here. There's going to be a shift and a change here, all right? So get prepared for that. Sometimes we wish for the truth and we wish for clarity. And when we get it, it's a little bit too much for us. So make sure your mental state is prepared for what's coming to you. This person is going to be rushing in to try to fix things. You know, even though they might have this like energy when Pisces, they back off a little bit and tend to wait for you to take the role or wait for you to take the wheel. This is what I'm hearing, but they really want to show you that they really are in, like, really pick you or are very passionate towards you and this emperor being here. Um, not very emotional, so you probably won't hear they say, I love you, unless they're really down on their knees begging you, please. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm seeing, like, this person is just, like, trying to give you that stability again and that um, security in the relationship. I'm definitely seeing the Ten of Swords in reverse, so congrats. For most of you, you're doing the healing and letting a lot of things go here. I am so proud of you, Scorpio, because I was sick and tired of telling y'all to do the healing. Honestly, every time I read your readings, I was just like, Scorpio, if your energy tell me to tell y'all or y'all angels tell me to tell y'all that y'all need to heal one more time. Yeah, that's how I was feeling. Angels tell me about this, please, for... Scorpio, what any what um, messages you have for Scorpio? Y'all, I am drinking my water, so and I'm eating my darts. Actually, my 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 um is it darts? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So you might hear me just crack a little bit. <laughs> if you hear me cracking on something, that's it. Okay. So you you're ready. Okay. I'm about to say you unlikely for those of you who are thinking negative you need to work on that no need to worry okay success Ooh, you're gonna have people around you surrounding you helping you guiding you through this matter so we have success here we have helpful people so i'm seeing guidance i'm seeing older energies coming towards you helping you Helping you through this, you know, trying to be there for you, letting you know that you are ready for this, like you are strong enough for those of you who feel like you don't have the strength to move on, you do. Um, you know, for those of you who do want to work out your relationship, because I did see the 10 of 
pentacles in the upright that you do want to work on this you do want to keep your family together maybe you have a business or a house or even money tied up together or even kids okay and you just want them to have a stable household you don't want to take your kids up and then separate them for those of you who choose to do that um the angels are going to be with you and guide you through that situation okay not that it's a healthy situation i'm not getting that because if you are unhappy, your kids are going to know that you're unhappy. And what you're teaching them is that it's okay to stay in an unhappy situation, okay? Let's, let's just get it real, all right? <laughs> the only reason why you don't want changes is because you're afraid. You don't know what else is out there for you because I'm seeing like the garden in the gate for some of you um, messages that you need to know that to explore, to go out there. Don't be afraid. The world awaits you. There's so much things that you haven't seen. There is no need to worry. Trust within the angels. You have the success card. You're going to be fine. Okay? You just need to have that faith within yourself. And things will come to light. That's what I'm hearing. Tell me more, angels, for Scorpio. Tell me more for Scorpio. Mm, you have Angel Michael coming through. So this angel is going to protect you um, to give you security and to also give you um, stability again. So for those of you who really just feel in the Ten of Pentacles that you need stability, this is what I was talking about before. And look, your Angel Michael came up and said, yes, seen. They are, yes, Jay, because they don't care about my YouTube name. They care about my name. They're like, Jay. Look, yeah, this person really wants stability and security and they only could get it right now. They feel like they only could get it right now with being in this relationship, okay? And the angels are saying that is not true. That is not true, you guys. Okay, so tell me more, angels. Tell me more of the world. Oh my God. So this is, this is gonna happen. This is like like intense like magnify like the angels are saying yes in the moon this is set i'm also feeling like there are so many things that you need to work on when it comes to your emotions and when it comes to like holding back and not showing your true self or being blocked like blocking out the world is not healthy you guys and that's what i'm hearing but you have good reason because you have a lot of envy people jealousy around you as well um, this could be your family members that are jealous of you and you feel like, you know, you need these people support to make you feel like you are on the right path. Like you, they're proud of you, like to keep you going. And here they are telling you that, you know, like throwing little jabs at you, making you feel like it's bad that you're doing good. It's raining outside, you guys. The rain started. I love it when it rains. But it's going to rain all night tonight. And it, I think it's supposed to start at 1, but I just heard. I'm hearing like heavy ass raindrops. And it's not even 1 o'clock yet. What time is it? It's 10.50. It's 10.50 p.m., y'all. But yes, okay? Let's get back in your energy. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be all over the place. I hope y'all don't mind. Y'all like, I just feel comfortable with y'all, okay? Period. Then you have anxiety. Because you don't know where your future lies. This is why Angel Michael is coming into play. Because you have a lot of anxiety. You don't know where your future is going. You don't know where your life is heading. You feel like everything is falling apart. Like you're you're about to just lose your mind. You gotta fit. You got you do you're doing a good job. The angels saying that you're doing a good job letting go, working on your mental health, choosing yourself, which is a big deal. So I'm so happy for y'all. Okay, so what else? What else? Ooh, happy family. Mm. For those of you who think that you're not going to be happy again, just know that you are. And then you have magician in the mirror. Look at that. It is time to manifest what you truly want. Time to embrace the universe. Time to embrace the angels and build a relationship with them. I keep saying that over and over and it's just so annoying because... Every time a magician comes up in your reading or <laughs> open the door to spirit, it's like, again, saying the same thing over and over again, you know, manifest, manifestation, bring answers. When I use these cards, I get that message. Um, and I also feel like, you know, healing, you know, that, that gives me that, that message too. So it's like, you guys need to really, really hold on to your spiritual side. Okay. Once you get in time. 
entwined with that, um, that would definitely help you to heal so much faster because it's a healing process, you guys. You're going to feel like a boost of energy guiding you, walking with you. You know, it's like a change, a shift, okay? All right, so, ooh, on the back of the deck, I also saw the garden in the gate for some of y'all who feels trapped. <sighs> the trapped, you guys, you're not. I feel like the angels want you to know this, okay? So, angel, tell us what you like Scorpio to work on. Meantime, these things are in the works, okay? Thank you, angels. Thank you. Things are in the works, okay? Wow, we have, again, you can do anything you want. Don't just think that you have made it to a certain place in your life and there is no growth. I feel like the angels want y'all to get up and get out, y'all. They need you to travel. I'm getting travel. Something about traveling. You can always rewrite your story. You feel like this is it for you. 37, 38. I'm also getting numbers 35, 29, 20, 18, and 4. Your last number is 53. Okay. Then we have number 2. You are sugar. You deserve sugar, not salt. Again, people treating you like salt, like you're not worth anything. You need to let them know you are sugar, not salt. Speak up for yourself. Stand up for yourself. Okay? Slay them dragons. That's what I'm hearing. Communicate. Action is needed here. For those of you who feel like you're, you're quiet, you're letting people step all over you like a rug. Angel saying, wake up. It comes with time and practice. You need your confidence back. Number 23. We also have number six, okay? Your confidence needs to be worked on. That's what I'm hearing. Like you lost your way in this connection with these folks, okay? My stomach is rumbling. Potions. Those of you who are practicing dark magic, be careful. Magic has a cost, all right? You don't want to tie someone to you that doesn't belong with you. Because when you're trying to break free from them, it's going to be a problem and could become very dangerous and life-threatening. So do not do it, all right? Stick with the light, you guys. Practice self-awareness, self-love. It says remember to practice self-love. Potions don't work, at least the right way. It's always a cost always a cause all right stand up for yourself don't mean to be bitchy but you need to learn how to stand up for yourself i'm getting that card like twice okay slay the dragons are also standing up for yourself having confidence you know there's something going on here where someone is taking your power that's what i'm feeling and you need to like take your power back you don't seek anyone's approval. Don't seek anyone's approval. This is what's coming up. Number 12. For some of you, I'm seeing you ask them permission to do things. Why? Are you married to this person? <laughs> Even if you are, you don't need to ask permission for anything. You just tell them what you're going to be doing. Okay? You're not a child. That's not your father. That's not your mother. Period. That's your partner. All right? Okay, so it says paint the sun back into the sky. For some of you guys, you guys are very unhappy. That's what I'm hearing. You're in the darkness. A lot of stress and depression. Release your guilt. You don't owe this person anything. For some of you, you're really thinking that this person gave you a lot or did a lot for you and you deserve to stay with them. But you don't. You shouldn't have any kind of guilt. Maybe this person took care of a child that wasn't even theirs for you. Or, you know, something like that. Forgive. <sighs> Maybe they paid for school for you or something like that. They help you to grow, to be a better person. And now you like, because the two of swords, you guys grew apart. Y'all going this way, not this way. You're going this way. <laughs> it's okay. We're not here to be in each other's lives forever. 
Everybody's here to teach us something and move forward, okay? Um, let me see. Yeah, the two of swords. I just want to make sure. Just want to make sure. The last card is... All right. Your potential is endless. You can do anything. You have number 45 for those of you, okay? You're sitting on the throne, okay? Like, you need to start treating yourself as such. This is what I'm hearing. What's going on for the future for Scorpio? Any messages for the future for Scorpio? Thank you, angels. Ooh, Scorpio. Free yourself from feeling trapped again. This is something that you have to work on. I'm seeing you moving on your own journey. Working on your own yourself. Okay, going on a, a journey to explore, to find yourself, self-discovery. I'm seeing you putting action in this. I'm seeing communication. I'm seeing change that's going to come into your life in the future. Like everything is going to be together. Like when you feel lost, everything is going to make sense. Okay, everything is going to make sense. It's going to be an adjustment. Wow, two of cups. So you have soulmate. Listen, you guys are getting back together. Oh, was this the same one? Hold on, y'all. Because they playing. Hold on now. Hold on now. Because I just want to make sure. Because I'm seeing the two of cups here. I'm seeing the two of cups. Oh, the lovers. All right, so this is a new connection. All right. Okay, I just want to make sure. So you had the lovers. So you guys were dealing with your twin flame, right? And Gemini. I just want to make sure because I wanted to see. <laughs> and now I'm seeing a new love coming into your life. So this is going to be clarity. This is going to be different. It's going to be a change from what you ever experienced in your life. This is what's going to be family oriented. This is what's going to make sense. You're just going to know. So I'm seeing partnership, commitment, okay, realization coming to you. Wow, I'm seeing a cheerful energy. Wow, commitment. I don't know why these cards want to show though. And the Knight of Swords. Ooh, hold on a sec. So. Yeah, so this is a long, stable relationship, you know, compassion, understanding, trustworthy. So this person could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy, but I'm also getting Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus for some of you, even Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. It's like this person is very loud, very outspoken for some of you. If it's a Gemini, Libra, or um, Aquarius, very, you know, ooh, romantic, motivated, determined. Um, and like to do new things, you know, like to do outdoor things. And I just also feel like the other person, it could be a little bit younger. These two are a little bit younger. Okay. So you're getting, some of you are getting an older energy. Some of you are getting a younger energy and then a middle energy, like in the thirties. For me, this card is like twenties. <laughs> Page of earth is twenties, thirties, and then forties. The king of water. So... You guys are getting a more, some of y'all getting getting a more emotional, older person that really just know what they want. Not saying that these people don't know what they want, but they're more like, this, like embracing life and just building their career as well and their, their, their livelihoods and, you know, having a lot of ideas going through it. But this person is a more stable person. You know, they're already there. They live these lives. You know what I'm saying? So your soulmates are coming to you, you guys. Okay, your soulmates are coming to you as soon as you end this thing in your head that you are stuck. That's what I'm hearing. So let's see. Let's clear this right here and do your overview. Okay, and see what the angels give us. Scorpio, hold on one second. Okay. <laughs> okay, Scorpio. All right, so we shuffled. Um, and then we are going to just, you know, get into your messages. I hope you guys are here so far. We're only at 25 minutes, so we're doing pretty good. So let's see what the angels have for you with your overview. Okay, I'm seeing money. Scorpios. 
there's something there's some good luck coming into your life some changes this is going to be fast okay you hear what i'm saying fast okay so we have the ace of pentacles which is a beautiful card here so money is coming into your path all right, so I need you to get ready for that. For some of you, I'm getting the seven of pentacles in reverse that need to watch out for spending um, things that you don't have right now. So money is coming in, but you don't need to spend everything because you seem to have everything that you need to survive. Okay, you, you just need to buy things that you need to survive, not what you want. Okay, um, only what you need. All right, so you need food, you need your bills to be paid, and you need to, your lights on. Okay, <laughs> well, you know, this is what I'm seeing like, you guys spend unnecessary unnecess money on things that you don't need, like sneakers, clothes, and all of that. You already have this. If you don't need it, don't buy it. All right, because you're going to be broke. It's like an up and down, I'm sorry, up and down balance for all of you when it comes to your money. Um, therefore, we have the Wheel of Fortune. There is going to be great things coming towards you. I'm seeing Leo. Um, I'm seeing Taurus. I'm seeing Aquarius. I'm seeing Scorpio. So you might want to communicate with these kind of energy that's coming into your life to bring good luck and, you know, just clarity, wiseness, um, you know, ideas, um, being very successful, you know, with experience and stuff like that. These are the energies that you need to, like, pay attention to. There is a situation, let's get more serious, okay, where I feel like you need to make a decision about. Um, this is someone that you really just try to make it work with. This could be a family member, even someone that you love, okay? Um, and you guys are just not getting along. I'm just not seeing it, okay? You want to make a situation to move forward, whether it is, you know, trying to make it work or moving forward with your life. And you don't know how to go about that, okay? But I feel like you're also waiting for this person to do the same thing. And I don't know if this is the same person that actually came up in your first um, swatch. But I feel like this person, like this is this is overdue. This is what the angels are saying. Like you need to focus on this and you should act very quickly with this, okay? Because there's going to be so many changes in your life that you might just steer away from this. Um, and just ignore it, but this is something that needs to be taken care of because you don't want certain energies that don't need to be in your life. Take advantage of your money, okay? All right, so I feel like the angels are saying you don't need these people to be in your life when this is going to occur, okay? You don't, so people, especially people that are not there for you. This is what I'm hearing, Scorpio, so you need to take care of it and don't be afraid. All right, because you're going to get a lot of messages very quickly. Things are going to happen. Things are going to shift for you, uh, especially if you guys are trying to find a job or something like that. Just know that you're going to be uh, you're going to be filled with ab abundance and opportunities and 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 things. For some of you, I'm seeing marriage. For some of you, I'm seeing kids. I'm so, for some of you, I'm seeing a house. Um, I'm just seeing change here. You know, it's a roller coaster with connecting with people, ending relationships, and moving on in the future, okay? Now, I'm seeing the Nine of Cups here, Promises. I'm seeing the Nine of Pentacles. How funny are they together? Like, they just like, you're together? All right, so again, with the spending issue, I don't know what's going on, Scorpios. Um... I feel like there's going to be some loss here if you're not careful with this. Like there is going to be abundance coming to you for the future. But I also see right now you need to be very careful with your money. And I'm also seeing like there is someone, someone that's promising you like good things in the future. But you need to be careful with this because if you don't, if they're speaking and you don't see any actions or you don't see any results, then this is not someone that you need to be with. Even though they're talking good things in your ear. You know who this person is and you don't see any kind of result. They're going to take a lot from you. Okay. They're going to make you lose a lot instead of gain a lot. All right. I'm seeing that you're going to wake up to this person very, very quickly. And I'm seeing blockage here. 
I'm seeing you choosing yourself, trying to do some healing. The Ten of Wands, you know, leaving this person behind. Thank you, Scorpio. I know you had it in you. Like, you're not, you know, especially when it comes to your money. You see a pattern here. Oh, uh, why am I getting like only time this person come around is when good things happen for you. And you're like realizing the pattern. I feel like this is what is um really causing you to stay in this kind of relationship too. Because a lot of you are going through hard times. And it's just easier for you to be with someone. But I'm telling you, the person that the energy that's really messing you up when it comes to your finances is the person that you think is going to help you. Because if the truth is, if they were going to help you, they would have helped you a long time ago, right? You shouldn't have to stay with somebody for them to help you. If somebody care about you, they're going to make sure you're taken care of. No matter what the situation is with them and you, they're just going to be there because they love you, right? So I just feel like this person is taking a lot from you. You're ending up trying to throw money at, the, at this person to keep them. But the angels are trying to give back to you. Okay. Let's see here. Mm, somebody needs to like... I'm seeing communication that needs to be worked on. See, new love. New love coming in, Scorpio. I'm seeing like you need to be very, very careful here, okay? I think you already know who these people are. You, There's someone that you really trust in this connection. Oh, my God. I'm getting like a friend. Like you really, really trust, and they're rolling your eyes when your back is turned. Mm -mm -mm. Um, Someone that you like talk to about your situations but they're really in a disguise they're really not there for you you know what i'm saying it's like this person is truly just showing you face um but when it's time for them to actually have your back i don't see they do because you're gorgeous men or women you're gorgeous i'm getting like this person wants what you got even though you complain about it a lot, and it might not be going your way, but you are confiding in this person because you felt like they were your friend or they were your cousin or they were your someone that you really are comfortable with is not really there for you, okay? Uh, I'm seeing the Empress here in reverse, and I'm seeing the High Font in the upright in Taurus. So there is a stubborn energy here that is set in their ways and really making a decision for themselves when it comes to this person, which is your person that you don't see as, oh my God, someone that you want to have a relationship with, okay? But for some reason, this cup is in the upright because it's like, I'm very, very scared of what I might find out here. Because I'm getting, I'm trying to find a deck, you guys. I'm getting like, you might just stay with this person because of this, Scorpio. They're giving you that offer that you've been waiting for. Tell me about this Ace of Cups for Scorpio because what is Scorpio thinking with this in the upright? Please, what do you see? Thank you, angels. Thank you, angels, for Scorpio. I just want to see where you at. Oh, I'm not going to take those. I'm not going to even look. Scorpio, please, for this Ace of Cups, please clarify. Thank you, angels. Huh. It's not going to work. You're moving towards this person, Scorpio, even though they're not, and you know it, not going to work. But I'm seeing you moving towards. I just want to make sure what the hell you, what this is all about, okay? And when I clarify, I got the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and then the Four of Swords. And it's just like, okay, you're trying. You're trying to make it work, but when you try, it fails and you fall into some kind of depression state, anxiety, you need to be recharged. 
you you you're gonna get out of it you're strong enough to pull yourself back but this is the result each time this love is not what it appears to be this is what i'm hearing okay so let's see what the angels have for you i just want to use my angel deck real quick for scorpio okay thank you angels for scorpio please thank you for scorpio thank you thank you angels Oh my goodness. Cards are falling on the floor. Okay. Let's see what the angels got. All right. Magician in the mirror, you guys. Time for manifestation. Again. <laughs> Again. You guys. Okay. Then we have you are on the right path. For those of you who feel like that you are not on the right path, like you are lost. The angels are saying, no, you're not. You're where you're supposed to be. So you could be seeing 1212 on the clock. Or 11, 11 on the clock. Just re re like, just let you know that you are on the right path. Even 111 as well. So I'm seeing anxiety. Again, anxiety. This is something that you're, you're struggling with. For those of you who are just going through life and then suddenly your heart start beating really fast or skip a beat. That is your anxiety. I feel like that's something that you need to check. For those of you who don't know and think that something is wrong with them medically. Um, and you know, they just don't know what the issue is. You are overwhelmed. You feel like there's no stability, no security in your life. And just know that it is, you are fine. For those of you who feel like love is not coming your way, there is a woman holding a heart. This could also be a man. Okay. 44 or 444 on the clock. All right. You're going to have many choices. Four, four, four on the clock, y'all. But someone is really coming towards you um, that really is ready to settle down, all right? There, I'm getting Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy, all right? That you need to look forward to. All right, walking away from a situation isn't easy, but it's needed. You have number 27 here, okay? The angels are saying all is well. Free yourself. Run if you have to. I mean, I feel like clarity is the best way. You just don't get up and go. Just be honest. Um, if it's not working for you anymore, it's just not working for you anymore. You know? Um, it will hurt, but at least you're setting that person free to meet whoever they should be meeting to learn the, the next chapter in their life. And I hope they have the same respect for you to set you free so you can... You know, be able to learn what you need to learn or be able to love whoever you need to love in the next chapter of your life. Because that is what life is all about, you guys. All right. Ooh, see, woman holding a pentacles. What is this about a woman, you guys? Some of you men out there waiting for a girl. <laughs> You're going to get a successful one. Look at that. 42 on the clock. Okay, so this person could be age 42 for some of you, or this is just a number that you're seeing all the time, all right? But it's going to be someone that is not only ready for a relationship, but very, very successful. This is a go-getter, okay? Go-getter when it comes to money, when it comes to taking care of people around them, they're very nurturing and kind. Anybody who needs them, they're there, okay? And they're very open, honest. Um, this is someone that you could definitely trust, okay? Oh, the sun. Happiness. Okay, and then we have an angel coming up here. I feel like this is self... Um, let me just make sure. This is love. I believe this is love, companionship. Is it companionship or companion? No, it, I, let me look at the book. I'll be trying to remember, y'all. <laughs> I'll be trying to learn. Oh, my God. Okay, so it's love, compassion, and self-acceptance. So healing, compassion, and also new love. This angel is bringing it all in your life. You hear me? 
You are highly protected, but this is what I see for you, Scorpio. I hope it resonates. I know this was a little bit short as usual, but I'm using another phone that might just like, you know, break the videos into two and I don't want that. Love you guys and I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye guys.